Hi everyone, welcome to Learning Curve Acres. I'm Marcy. I wanted to do just a brief video talking about the different types of wires that you can use oops, for your chicken structures. Now this is a 4x4 chicken tractor and you can see we've used a welded wire. This is quarter inch welded wire. It's very strong. We've got it in using washers and screws, but I'll tell you, you cannot, it's really hard to break through. Another type of welded wire, another size that's really good, which we've used here on this, this screen. I'll show you this, the full screen. So this is just a screen that we place over top of the actual chicken coop door so that we don't have to close the door in hot weather just because it gets too hot and they need extra ventilation. But here, this is, a, this is the uh, half inch. So when we're talking half inch, we're talking a half inch by half inch across. That's the gap. Again, very strong. I've never seen any predators, other than possibly a bear, get through this. We have, you know, the fox can't get through this. The raccoons can't chew through it, nor can weasels or rats and mice. It's, though mice might be able to get in. But I really pity any poor mouse that decides to go into our coop because we have boys who like to eat the mice. But this is a good, strong, heavy-duty wire that will keep your chickens safe. Keep your birds safe. Now, most people, and this includes a lot of people who work at the hardware stores, most people seem to think that this is just fine. Good old-fashioned chicken wire. But watch how easily this is bent. I don't have that great a strength in my hands. I know that. I am not tough. But I have a chicken who will work at this if she's stuck in something that has chicken wire. She will work at it until she breaks through. If a chicken can break through, I, well, I've seen raccoons rip their way in. I've seen weasels chew through. All this does is contain your chickens and make a buffet. Because predators see the chickens in this and they go, oh, it's just that. It's just that light stuff. I can get in there. But the chickens can't get out that easily. And they start panicking and they won't find the hole that the predator got in through. Chicken wire is great when you're dividing within the coop. This is outside really only just to keep the chickens, try to deter them from eating a little bit of the grass that's trying to come up. That's the only reason I've got this outside right now. Otherwise, this is strictly an inside uh, containment unit for the chickens strictly to keep them in one spot. Anytime you want your chickens safe, I highly recommend you use welded wire. Now, if you're doing a large run, it's quite, quite, you know, satisfactory to do the quarter inch welded wire around the bottom or the half inch and then do the one by two inch welded at the top. But chicken wire like this, this hexagonal quintessential cute country chicken wire that gets used in so many decorative things right now as well. Well, decorative is the only thing that it's good for. I have seen owls actually rip open the tops of cages that have had this on top. 
It is not a pretty sight. Yes, the owl, the owl will hurt itself, but still, it is not a safe thing to use if you're trying to protect your chickens. Again, all it does is turn your chickens into a buffet for the predators. Predators will see this. They will be watching your flock. They will see this and they will know that there is nothing to protect them, really. Now, if you're free ranging your chickens like I do, now I know this isn't pretty, so I'm sorry for all of those who have those decorative, decorative coops and runs. But if you have free range chickens like I do, give them a place to hide. Give them a place to get out from in front of, from the view of aerial predators as well. That's Sheldon's bum you see right there. He's taken a little break in, in underneath. But I just wanted to, to bring this, I figured this was probably the easiest way to do this, uh, to get this information out there was just a really quick video. So I hope this helps. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Bye-bye.